Hey, what's up with the YouTube? It's Rock Lord here, and today I read you not a review for Fruto Dante. I have a feeling that. Um, so I did watch Hocus, Hocus Pocus 2. Um, I didn't want to do the review on Friday because I figured if I do the review on Friday, then. Okay. Um, the Friday came out because I had to work that day. Also, I got home pretty late, pretty late, pretty, also, when I, also, when I get home after work, I don't really want to do anything except just go in my room, lay, lay down, watch, and watch anime and the wrestling on Fridays and on Mondays, that's what I want to do. So... I held off for a few weeks because also um I completely forgot, forgot there was another movie that was coming out, but on Paramount Plus I wanted to watch and potentially check out, and so I checked it out and again, so I figured I combined that review with this review and then move with the Tante until to tomorrow, and then move Geet and Dawn Brothers to next week. So, Geese will be back on its normal day of Monday, and Geese will be, and Dawn Brothers will be back on Tuesdays. I love Futo Tante for Geese because it's also a common writer. So, for this, so for today and tomorrow, um, if, if, if I was right about, right about Futo Tante, Futo Tante, Tante won't be, won't be, one job until later today, and then won't be able to review it until later today. So, therefore, I'm three episodes behind of each show. So, I can at least review each show with all three episodes in one go. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video because today um, I'm going to review Hocus Pocus 2 and the live action. Monster High movie on Paramount Plus. So, first up, let's go. So, I'm going to start with Monster High. I'm, I'm going to start with Monster High. That was the, that's the latest one I watched. And then I'm going to go into... No, right, scratch that. I'm going to start with Hocus Pocus 2. Because I got because I got a lot of things to say about that one. So, prepare for this first half of the video to be... A rant on how bad this movie is. And how, and oh, uh, the plot holes. If you guys know me, I don't, I mean, if you guys have seen my channel and seen my previous rant videos, you know I don't like plot holes. No, I don't. You know I like movie. You know I like things with character development, depth. And I'm going to with the first thing that comes to my mind when I, when I, when I thought this, when, when I saw this movie, the book. What if it's spell book? So in the first movie, in case you don't, in case you don't remember. <clears throat> In Hocus Pocus 1, it is said that the spell book was given to Winifred by the devil himself. Immediately retconned. And 2, with the book being given to Winifred and her sisters by another witch. Also, the black flame candle in 1... Is by the fat of the hanged man. Which that wasted away in 1993. So, one more second. And it sets up a third one, essentially. Because apparently, and I guess, 
anyone can make a black flame candle? Because we see a black flame candle. Because we see a candle given to these girls. Who are, I'm guessing, essentially the same age as Dan, that Danny was. Or I'm guessing about the same age that Max was in the first movie. But was that Sal Max's? So, um, you know, he's in high school. I guess he's around like 15, 16 years old. And apparently, at the age of 16 is when Witch gets her powers. So what they do? They throw in yet another witch. Yeah, um, there's two of the witches in this movie. A witch is the Sanderson, the, Sander, the Sanderson sisters, the book, and a new age witch that relies on technology. I don't remember her name. It's just so easily forgettable. And so, of course, the Sanderson, the Sanderson sisters comes back with a plan to, once again, suck the life out of all the children in Salem. By the way, you know what? We're going to completely abandon that whole, that whole story, that whole story plot from the first movie, and just scrap it! Now they want to literally destroy all of Salem. Yeah, now let's see how that's even, now let's see how that's better. If I had to pick a part of this movie that I didn't really like, it'd be the whole movie. Now, I don't mean in this movie, I haven't watched the first one. Normally, the mindset I take with new, with new with sequels coming out, so I, go into, so I go into the movie, I go into the new, I go into the new movie without having seen the first, without having seen the old, the original. I couldn't do that with this one. Because I have the same three witches, and... It was like a ball of new characters. Don't know why. Um. Really thought they should have at least. Fall through with what they said in the last movie. It's, it's not good. It's not good. I mean, it's okay. It's all I'm going to say is that it's an okay movie. I'm not going to say it's good. Because it's not. It's not even great. It's not stupendous. It's not amazing. It's just okay. That's all he gets, is it okay? If you disagree with me, feel free to do that in the comments. Section down below. I love to hear your I would love to hear your I love to hear your opinions on this movie. For me, not that good, just okay. Alright. Now on to Monster High. Oh, <laughs> where do I have to go with this one? Um, well, first of all, I gotta say this. It's at least better than, in my mind, it's a, it was, in my mind, if I had to rate Hocus Pocus 2 on a scale of 1 to 10, it'd be about a 5.2. It'd be about a 5 It'd be, it'd be about a five. Whereas, Monster High? I'd say it'd be roughly 
at a five and a half. Yeah. Alright, so. Yeah, again, I'd say most of was about a half point better, if not maybe a half point lower than Hocus Pocus 2. Just not sure where to put it, really, because it's. It's not good, it's not great. Hell, it's not even okay. It's just really weird. Because the whole point of this movie is that basically humans are evil. And of course they talk about the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I'm like, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, that fits. Because he was a monster and a human. Because of chemistry. Because of science. He turns into a monster. Well, apparently Claudine Wolf, who is also a half monster, half human, because he's a werewolf, um, she can turn herself human by, by channeling her emotions, I guess. I don't know what to think of this movie. I mean, it's essentially a low budget high school musical, and that's me put. That's me being nice when I say this because it's literally a low budget high school musical. And if I were to rate it any higher than that. Or any lower than I'd be going into really randy territory. And that in this video is already gone. This video is already 12 minutes long. I don't want to make it an hour long. Like my Nintendo Direct reaction video. But yeah, so. This was definitely a video that I need to wait for. Because I still had a lot of feelings of playing out. And clearly, I did the right choice, I think. I made the right choice. But also, um... Oh, and of course, um... Totally out of left field here. But, uh, if you watch Extreme Rules... This past weekend, um... Creepy McCreeperson's back! Creepy McCreep Pants is back! Yay! And if you know who Creepy McCreamer is back, if you know who Creepy McCreamy is back, good for you! You have a brain! You're intelligent! In case you don't, don't, don't want to know who Creepy McCreamer is back. It is. He is so creepy, so weird, that when he left, when he was, when he left the WWE, I was happy. So I didn't have to deal with him. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, make sure. Bye!